Hey everybody, it's Brian, and uh, wow, it's been since December. I haven't made a video since December. It's a long time. I have been feverishly working away on a side project I call Plugin Service, and I've just uploaded a project to Kickstarter. I've got 29 days left to raise $5,000. And what is this project all about? That's what the video is going to be, and I'm not really asking for money. Um, more or less, if you think it's a great idea, just spread the word. I've got 29 days. So, um, yeah, away we go. It's an open source, cross-platform, remote device management from a central location. Ugh, that's a mouthful. That's why I call it plug-in service. And I've got a pretty lengthy video out on kickstarter.com. I'm uploading the Kickstarter video, and I'm going to put a link up here, too. But uh, in a nutshell, it's a service. And a service is just a program that runs in the background. You never know what's there. But it loads plugins. Now, what that means and this is the central management piece. What that means is this service will run in the background and whatever plugins we give it, it'll just run. So for example, well, we could make a parental control plugin. So you could keep your kid off their cell phone or you could uh, add in business logic. And what this central piece does is it has, I'm gonna go ahead and log in here. I've got a much more detailed tutorial in the Kickstarter project that if you're really interested, I encourage you to watch. You have uh, policies, plugins, and groups, and devices. So policies are kind of like if-thens. There's triggers and actions. So if something happens, do this. For example, as a device is gone for 30 days, then wipe the hard drive clean. Or if it goes outside of this IP range, then encrypt the file system. Um, plugins make all that possible. And groups are just groups that you put devices into. and you can link policies and plugins to them. So any device in, say, group, and let's just go in here, group one. Any device in group one is going to automatically get the policies and plugins linked to it. So you can manage, you know, multiple instead of just one. And devices, um, we're going to support a broad range of devices, anything from Windows, Linux, yay, Linux, uh, Mac, Android, and iOS. Um, this is all going to be written, or I should say it's been written in PHP with the YI framework. Yi is an acronym for Yes It Is. Um, I looked at a lot of PHP frameworks, and Yi is the one that really stood out. And it had a pretty steep learning curve, so admittedly that's what I spent a lot of time doing. Um, we'll also be using Qt, because, yep, I love Qt. So this is the central management piece, and I've got a pretty lengthy overview of it out on uh, kickstarter.com and I'll post the link also in this video but in a nutshell you know you've got your account users policies plugins groups devices and I'm gonna have video tutorials embedded in each one um, I want to make this a free open source project and I've gotten a lot of criticism especially from people that I know because they're like well you're never gonna make any money off of this well it's not really the point of making money it's the point of doing something I love so I'm going to try it. I've never done an open source project and hopefully this will be enjoyable. Um, this is the cute code for it. Here's this testbed application and I've got some plugins written. So wow, yeah, if we, you can see I've got like encryption, file system, HTTP transfer, a template which I start all my plugins with, uh, shell for system commands, and telnet. So if we just start up testbed here and remember this will be a service you'll never even know this exists it runs in the background so essentially it's a command line and every plugin adds commands to that command line for example if I type in help you got let's see if I can resize this a little bit here we go you can see internal commands right here it's got some internal commands and they are start start all stop stop all, uninstall, install, list, log. Basically, they're for managing plugins. So the service simply loads and unloads plugins. The plugins add the extra functionality. For example, encryption um, actually uses the button framework, or I'm sorry, the button code, which adds AES-256 cipher blockchaining encryption. So we can encrypt, decrypt, encode, decode. And I mean, I've made it as simple as possible. These will be called through policies. So you would say encrypt, say, this folder or this file, and then call this plugin to do the encryption. As you can see, each plugin 
adds its own set of commands. Maybe if I can highlight correctly, highlight challenge today. So working with this, and yes, it says error just because I hit enter. I haven't filtered that out yet. We can say list. It lists the plugins. We can say status. Get the status of the plugins. They're all running. We can, for example, we can stop shell. And then let's do status again. You see how shell is now stopped. So the plugin is still loaded in memory, but it's stopped. And we could then uninstall it without having to stop the service. That's the whole point of this, is you never really need to uninstall this service. It just, you know, keeps running. And then we can start the plugin again. And we can um, core update right here, this guy. This is the plugin that will talk to the central management piece, and he'll pull down the policies and things of that nature. So we can actually do an update, and you see there's a whole bunch of XML goodness that gets thrown out here. Like here is the request that we're sending. And you notice how it's a code. We're not going to send usernames and password. We're going to send codes. Um, so send a code, and then it gets this XML response. And this XML response is all the policies, plugins, everything that it's telling it to do. So then it would download the plugins, configure them, etc. So if this Kickstarter project is successful, I'm probably going to put out an open call for other developers to collaborate with. Um, that will come with a very big disclaimer that uh, you will not be paid for your work because this is a free open source project. Um, well, I shouldn't say you won't get paid. If I get millions of dollars in funding, I'm probably going to have to hire people, but I doubt that'll happen. Um, more to the point, I'm just looking for people to collaborate with. Um, the other big disclaimer is you're going to have to come into this with a certain level of knowledge. Somebody just starting off with Qt, I'm sorry, this isn't going to be a project for you. You're going to need to know how to work with Qt, how to work with multiple platforms and operating systems, um, specifically the Qt plugin framework, how to work with plugins, enumerations, interfaces, things of that nature. Um, I'm not quite sure how I would structure it yet. I'm probably going to use GitHub. And um, this admittedly is my first open source project. I think I covered that. But basically, I'll probably handle the core service with maybe one or two other developers. And then everybody can build plugins because that's where the actual functionality is. But I don't know. Until I get the funding, none of this actually exists. So I'm going to put the URL out there for Kickstarter. But uh, please get the word out there. I've got 29 days to raise five grand. That five grand is going towards web hosting. And I've got a pretty lengthy description of what it is, what it'll do, and what I plan on doing with it. So that's all. Thank you for your time. Oh, and uh, yes, I've been exploring Qt 5 again. So I think we're going to get more Qt tutorials here soon.